Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, Skill Journal. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about the important AI tools that is going to be very useful to write your research article in a week time. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Many learners, I'm going to share one of my articles here where I discuss about different time series model and the machine learning model for forecasting in diverse economies. Now, in this particular case, I am using different type of AI and also different type of data analysis tools in order to write this particular article. Now, one of the tools that I quite often use is called the SciSpace Literature Review. In the SciSpace Literature Review, the important part here is that you can write and you can find different type of updated literature review from SciSpace Literature Review search very easily. On the other hand, size space literature review also give you a summary of different type of literatures, top five years, top articles very easily. On the on top of it, you can always check with that PDF downloaded articles very easily to find out their problem statement and also different type of information from the article, extracting information from the article. If you're writing a meta analysis paper or maybe you're writing a literature review paper, this is a fantastic tool that can be useful for your writing literature review. So, first you need to write a literature review. Why? Because in order to find out the gap in the literature, it is very important to go into the literature and find out the gap and then start your argument that what type of research you are going to contribute by finding out the gap in the literature review. Okay? So, size space is going to be very useful in this particular case. Another tool I quite often is the emu.ai. In this case, you can see there are different type of literature and introduction and different type of way of writing emu can help you. There are paid version, unpaid version. If you are familiar with the unpaid version well enough, then you go for the paid version. I have the paid version. I'm not going to ask, tell you that you have to buy that and the, this, all the AIs are not going to sponsor me. But I'm just saying because these are the tools I'm using day to day life. So it can be useful for your case as well. So emu.ai can help you to write different type of introduction. It can write your argument. For example, if I copy that and you can see from the drop down menu, you can find out that different type of write in depth, write supporting argument, write opposing argument. You can cite as well. You can always paraphrase your article. You can summarize your article very well in using the emu.ai so emu is one of the fantastic ai you can use it for your further research writing support then the chat gpt chat gpt is one of my go to go tools because whenever i need any help to understand any topic to find out or explain my objective or research problem i go and take the chat gpt help and as you know chat gpt is not plagiarism free there is always plagiarism and always similarity very high in the chat GPT writing. So, in that case, I use the Quillbot premium version. If you want to use Quillbot normal version, it's fine. You can use Grammarly because Quillbot and Grammarly go hand in hand. So, it is very easy to use these two tools. Quillbot can use paraphrasing, grammar check, AI detection, summarize and plagiarism check as well. So, whatever you are finding from the chat GPT, Quillbot can paraphrase your thing and it make it nice and articulated so that it will be removing almost all the plagiarism and similarity from the article. One of the other thing that I often, often use is the JAPS and this software is free, completely free and there are a lot of data analysis tools available. You can see here that Audit, Bain, BSTS, Circular Statistics, uh, Cron and Distribution, JAX, Learn Bias, Machine Learning, Meta Analysis, Network Power, all these cutting edge statistical applications and information are given in this particular software. Anyone, whoever coming from engineer, life science, social science, literature, anyone who is interested to do data analysis, JAPS is, in my opinion, one of the best free available software. You can download it and you can use it for your data analysis purposes. And one last thing I use quite often is the Zotero. Zotero is going to help me to write my referencing. Because Zotero can easily give you the different type of referencing. For example, APA, Harvard, Chicago. And it will be very easy because it is completely free. And referencing 
managing tool in my opinion zotero is undoubtedly unparalleled with comparison with other tools because it has also a chrome a chrome add in as well so you can easily extract the information from the chrome browser easily in the zotero interface so zotero for reference you need that for your writing research article so if i summary that you need to use size space for literature review you need to use emo or similar type of uh, ai application for your introduction uh, argument and different type of uh, objective research gap writing and then you can go for chat gpt to explain your things or elaborate your things in more detail in order to remove plagiarism and similarity you can use quill board and then for data analysis you can use jap software and of course finally use zotero for your referencing purposes if you have these tools at your hand in your computer in my opinion it can be very useful to write your research article in a very good quick time maybe in a one week time you can draft your first research article for publication purposes so i hope this video is useful for you and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye